Episode 6 starts with a guy from last episode introducing himself. He's Loki Dive, pleased to meet you. Ludi says isn't he looking for her? Why did he involve Al in this? He tells her that's not true. He's actually more important than her. And says still playing dumb? He's the one who single-handedly defeated the commander of the Demon King's army, Romeo, and Ouroboros the evil dragon. Al says so he's one of them. Ludi asks, one of them? But Loki tells him he doesn't want to be compared to those nasty beings, and wonders who he should start with first. Ludi attacks, but he chops her neck and says too weak, too vulnerable. Al runs over to Ludi and heals her. Loki says, well, you can use healing magic? Looks like he made a mistake. He should have started with him. Ludi tells Al she's sorry. It's all her fault. He tells her there's no need to apologize. That priority is to get rid of this guy. She tells him that she's no match for him, and to be careful. He says got it, but rest assured, he's a top-notch farmer after all. Al goes to punch him, but Loki grabs his arm and throws him. However, Al is able to bounce off the tree and goes to attack him again. Loki tells him he's quite something, but he will have to make him disappear. Loki punches him and it creates a small crater in the ground. Al jumps up from it and is able to land a hit. Loki tells him don't get cocky, go to hell. As he hits the tree, the box holding the baton cracks. While Loki is recovering from Al's punch, he comments that he's so powerful with just his bare hands. No wonder those pawns couldn't defeat him, but he's different from them. Al heals himself, Loki says man, you're really hard to deal with. That being said, he did land a punch on him. He should be proud of himself. Anyway, it's time to end this. It's a pity. He wanted to play with Al for a while longer. Al brings up that earlier he said that he was also important, right? What did he mean? Loki tells him although he's clearly stalling for time, it doesn't matter. He'll tell him. He's eliminating all factors that may hinder his plan. He's not only targeting him, but also the woman who got the evil dragon's power, that being Helen. He'll tell him one more thing. As the heroine, she's endowed with the good god's power. The demon king was endowed with the evil god's power. Ludi says, but hasn't the evil god become weaker after the demon king was defeated? Loki says, isn't that the same for her? He doesn't think she can exert a shred of the good god's power, and says, alright, enough chit chat. It's time to end this. The leeches start attacking, but Ludi tells them that she's got this, and for him to run away. Al says no way, and punches one of the leeches, killing it. He will become the best farmer. If he leaves her alone, he'll become the worst person ever. He defeats another leech. Loki summons some spell, and shoots at him. Al asks Ludi if she's alright. She tells him yeah. What about him? He tells her he's totally fine. Loki apologizes. That was a bit harsh. He's not good at going easy on others. A leech comes out of the ground and knocks Ludi away then pins Al down. Honestly, he didn't mean to kill him from the beginning. He just wanted to fight him, and thinks this job is done. He had a great time. This thing won't go once it bites its prey. His skin may be ripped off if he struggles to break free, and tells Ludi that he's sorry, but he has no reasons to keep her alive. He'll kill her now. Ludi thinks to herself, she really is useless, and apologizes to Al, her dad, and her mom. However, her parents tell her that they don't care about what others say. She tells them but they all say she can't be a heroine. They tell her that's not true. No matter what, they're there for her. No matter what others say, just go her own way. Lodi asks, then she can be a heroine? They tell her exactly. Just go her own way and let others talk. Loki shoots his attack up in the sky for some reason, and while he's doing that, the leeches on Al crumble. Al tells him it's Patern. Because it has a coagulant effect, it's also used as a pesticide. For example, it can be used to kill leeches. Now they can't regrow. Loki tells him, I see. He's a farmer indeed, but he's seriously injured. He can't even stand stably, let alone attack him. Al tells him to cut the crap and goes to attack him. Loki dodges and tells him, don't mess with him. It's more sensible to behave. But Al tells him to shut it. Ludi wonders why he's fighting so hard. Al tells him that he'll defeat him and save Ludi, and he won't let him hurt Helen. Ludi thinks, yeah. She always thought she couldn't become a heroine. So, she gave up. But Al never gives up the beliefs of defeating that guy. He's been injured all over, but to save her, it has nothing to do with ability. A hero is one who never gives up helping and protecting others no matter the circumstances. Loki tells him enough is enough. He'll really kill him if he doesn't behave. However, before he finishes his sentence, Ludi stabs him in the back and says that he's the one that's gonna die. And tells Al she's sorry. It's so simple. How come she didn't think of it? But... She's fine now. Loki asks, why bother wasting your strength? She tells him it's not a waste, because she realized it's wrong to give up even if you cannot win. Loki simply just walks off her sword. She tells him that she won't give up and summons her god power. 
Loki wonders how this is possible. She tells him to prepare himself. Loki says, is this the power of the good god? Rudy uses holy condemnation, sacred eater. Loki wonders how can he be defeated. She tells him it's over. While slicing him down the middle, he tells her that they will, but he disintegrates. Al tells her she's awesome. Rudy tells him that she must thank him. Thanks to him, she can. However, Al begins to pass out. Rudy thanks him again and tells him to have a good rest. She seems to have a crush on him. She likes him. It's night now and Al is waking up. He realizes where he is and jumps up, but they clash heads. Al tells her he's sorry. She says, how should she put this? Thanks for the hard work. He asks what for. She gets flustered and tells him nothing. Al notices that it's dark now, and she tells him actually, after he fell asleep, she wanted to carry him back, but she doesn't know the way. Al tells her no worries. He's more or less recovered, so let's head back. As they're walking, they hear faint wailing. Rudy asks if he heard that. Al says the sound, could it be Loki hasn't? Rudy says it can't be. She clearly killed him, and wonders what it can be then. She then begins to cower. Al asks, is she afraid of this? She tells him she is. If it's the undead, she can slash them with her sword. But she can't handle intangible ghosts. Who knows what they will do to her. And the voice says, Al, where are you? We see that it's Al's mom searching for him. Al recognizes the voice. It's his mom's. She'll kill Rudy and suggest that they run for him. He picks her up and begins to sprint away. As they stop, Rudy chuckles. He ran so hurriedly just now. He tells her that he was scared out of his wits. Rudy says, oh, you're afraid of ghosts too? He tells her, well, sort of, and thinks it's scarier than ghosts. As they return to the town, they notice the hotel is gone, and conclude that it probably was an illusion created by Loki. Rudy tells him then, she'll spend the night over there today. Al says, by the way, he'll go get the Baturn again tomorrow morning, and then return to the royal capital. He'll be counting on her to escort him back. She tells him sure thing. He supposes his mom hasn't been back yet. Such a thing has happened before. Back then, he and Testa went far away to play without telling their families. His mom came out to look for him out of worry. They were afraid of getting scolded, so they ran back in a hurry while hiding from her. Unexpectedly, his mom had been waiting for him at home. Can she teleport herself? Al opens the door and his mom rushes to hug him, but he closes the door. He opens it once again to see that she's not there. She then appears behind him, saying that she was so worried about him. Al begins to sprint through his house. His dad greets him and tells him that his mom was worried about him. Al rushes into a room and shuts the door. His dad tells him wait, don't let him suffer alone. The next day, his dad is hanging on the clothesline, while his mom is begging him not to leave. However, his dad tells her that's enough, don't make things hard for Al. But she tells him to shut up, he says, okay. She asks if Al can stay, he thinks to himself, he doesn't have a choice. He hates to say this, but he tells her that he'll hate her if she keeps doing this, which causes her to apologize. He tells her he's got to go. She tells him, all right, but he must tell her. Is he going to continue being a farmer? He tells her, yeah. She says, I see. She thinks he should let it go. If that thing restrains him with a sense of duty or purpose, Al tells her no. She's thought too much. The reason why he wants to be a farmer is because he likes farming. This is what he wants to do. She tells him that he's a kind boy, but she doesn't want him to be crushed by his kindness. He can act willfully once in a while. Don't do anything he'll regret. Then they send him off. He meets up with Rudy and they head out. Rudy brings up that Loki seemed to have targeted him as well. Any ideas why? Alan tells her no, he can't think of any. She brings up that he'll probably be targeted by demons again. He says the same goes for her. She's a heroine after all. Let him know if she's ever in trouble. He'll come and save her. She blushes and thinks that was supposed to be her line. Back at the capital, Fowl is informed that his majesty wants to talk to her. Then the episode ends. Some personal thoughts. Instead of Rudy unleashing her god power, I thought it would have been cool if Al did it instead. His mom kind of hinted that Al took the farming because of the death of someone, and his mom obviously is a normal person. Granted, I assume that he's a hero. Uh, I could be totally wrong though. I'm curious to find out what's going on with the princess as well. I'm looking forward to next week. That's about it. See ya.